that I have been trying to clean up my tiny house. It is 500 square feet. Last week we worked on cleaning out a little corner of it. This week we are gonna make a creative space. I just finished watching an episode of Hoarders. It scares the crap out of me because I know I could be one of those people where there's so much stuff in the house that it spills to the outside. And it's not just my home, it's the store too. Ever since we moved back from Encinitas to Solana Beach, we've been digging out and cleaning up. And now we have less than 60 days for our big launch party on September 30th. We have saved pretty much everything from the old store and we're slowly repurposing and using the broken items. I asked my dad to build me some new fixtures for the craft space out of old salvaged items that I just can't throw away. I'm just gonna have my dad build me a shallow shelving unit so I can put all the paint right here. That's so good. What'd you make it out of? Scrap. <laughs> we took a bunch of chairs and stuff apart. We're using the old spindles. Now I just need to paint it. This is the shelf that's gonna hold all of my paint that my dad made. He's also working on a cart for me that's gonna replace this. But I think it's gonna be good. As I've been decluttering, I've been watching old episodes of Hoarders on YouTube, and I know that I have plenty of legitimate excuses. I live in a small space. We just downsized the store from 3,000 square feet to 720, and I have a very busy job. Excuses don't bring the change that I'm hoping for. So I've been forcing myself to look at the deeper underlying reasons for the choices that I've made. I know that I'm an introvert and that I have to push myself out of my comfort zone to choose people over things, even with my own friends and family. I have many in-depth tutorials on painting furniture. I'm gonna put the link to a playlist below. Right now, I am wiping back the undercolor with a baby wipe because DIY paint is reactivated with water. And once it gets to the point where I like it, I'm going to seal it with clear wax. While I was working on this, I gave my sister a bunch of old windows to create some privacy screens in her patio. This is a look at what her and my dad were working on. So we have some old windows that Debbie gave us. Here's another one. I decided to mix a little mermaid tail and then I'm gonna add mint chip to make that same minty, minty mermaid tail. Mermaid chip or minty mermaid, minty mermaid. My sister's house is even smaller than mine, but she is extremely organized and clutter free. We have this one that I'm gonna paint cowgirl coral. My sister is very social. She is the one who started the tradition of all of us meeting at her house after church. This is where I want to hang the window frame just to give me a little privacy. We got four by fours and two by fours to build my trellis. I live just a few miles away and I would love to meet at my house at some point if I can get it cleaned up. Okay, we put the screen in both of them. There she's hung. It just adds a little element of privacy. What did you just say? <laughs> I like the word finish. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to add some plants and some things to warm it up, but that is the essential frame of each. And this is the space where we usually hang out and have family brunch every Sunday. It's all painted and waxed, and now I am going to fill it up with my supplies. Office nook, you can see that it is not functional. I want to turn it into more of an art nook because that's what I do here when I'm home. This is my inspiration photo right here. Over here, I'm gonna put the darker blue and then feather it out into the aqua blue till I get to the edge. Got all of these brushes right here. This is super important to have a whole bunch of brushes when you're blending. You want your water bottle. So I've got my colors, I've got my tools, and we are gonna get going on this. We're gonna start with blue iris right here. We're gonna put it right here, and then we're gonna go down to the minty colors. Yeah. I am going to use blue iris this minty mermaid that I mixed up, fold 57 and white to create my ombre wall. I have everything cleared out of the way. Nook area that I am going to paint. I usually blend on furniture. This was the first time I tried blending on a wall. 
When I blend on furniture, I give it a base coat and I let it dry for 24 hours. This gives the paint a chance to cure because you can pull up that second coat very easily. I did not want to give a base coat to this entire nook, so I just started blending over the existing finish. And for the most part it worked, but there were areas that needed a little bit of refining. I let it sit overnight and I went back and I touched up the areas that were not, I don't know how you'd describe it, where the transitions looked too severe like skid marks and I wanted them to look a little bit softer. I went back and I touched those up. I have many videos just on blending that I will put in the description box, but I think of it like pulling taffy. You want to pull the paint in different directions and then even it out with your brush in the end as you can see I'm doing here. This is where I'm at so far. It took two coats because I didn't put a primer coat on it, so the first blend was kind of messy. Hey, it is done. I decided this chair that I did a long time ago in a video, it needs to be pink with some transfers on it. So this is how far I have come. I am loving it. I gotta just continue to ombre it out to here. And I, I was going to paint this part pink, but I decided to come to a stopping point because the next day was Sunday. We're going into Costco. My sister, right? This is what we got. We got some ribeye, some eggs, chicharrones. I'm hungry. What's it like to be the mother of that child over there? Amazing. <laughs> oh, red like me. <laughs> Grandpa's barbecuing his ribs. Sadie, you want to taste test the ribs and make sure they're done right? I am proud. <laughs> Sadie, you What's going on? Good look, Dad. <laughs> and then it was Monday and time to get back to work. But this video is taking me twice as long because of an injury that I'm about to share with you. I pulled something in my neck and so now I have a pinched nerve. All I want to do is go full steam ahead and I can't. The chiropractor said that the reason why I have a pinched nerve is because I spend a lot of time like this editing on my computer or looking down at my phone and it's called tech neck and it's from being in this forward posture so i knew this video was going to take another week and i thought well i might as well throw in another project i've been wanting to paint over this blue chair for a while i am blending it with two shades of pink then i am going to let it sit for 24 hours because i'm going to put a transfer on top you should usually apply a sealer before you put transfers on but i did not want to because i didn't have any sealer at my house so i knew that if i just let the paint cure for 24 hours it would be fine to go ahead with the transfers after that once you are finished putting the transfers on, you definitely want to put a sealer over the top. I am probably going to put a couple coats of sealer on this chair because it's a chair and I will be sitting on it. And now I am adding some gold wax to give the frame of the chair a glamorous look. While I was working on the chair every Monday, Ellie and my sister go paddle boarding. As I was playing back the clips, I was thinking, Debbie, you should really get out more. Me and Mama Sita are going paddle boarding. The introvert side of me would rather stay home, but I should probably go do this with them on Monday. What are we doing, Ellie? Going paddle boarding. Hello. Hello from the <laughs> sea. Look at that. Number 28. It's truly a houseboat. So far, we've seen a boat named Alma, and now it says Deborah Jean. All right, I had to stop editing and zoom in on this boat because my name is Deborah and my middle name is Jean. So, is this supposed to be some kind of sign? You sure it doesn't go that way? It never has gone that other way, ever. What are you doing? Well, I'm putting in a hook so your umbrella won't blow over. Thank you. You're welcome. 
This is a chandelier that I bought at the consignment store and it got damaged in the move. You can see there's all these broken off pieces that need to be glued back on. I've got two kinds of glue here that I'm gonna try. See if I can do surgery on this and then hang it over in my new crafting area. I took a break to run some errands and Home Goods is right next to my bank. So I went in there to get inspiration. I do not need a single thing, so I don't know why this is fun for me. Other than I love looking at like, look at this, that is so cute. And this skull, you could make that with molds during um, Halloween. Okay, I did buy this. I think this house got out of control because when I moved into the big store, I would work there 12 hours a day and then I would come home and I would just fall asleep and then I would get up and I would go back. And this place got dusty and cluttered. It has been almost a year since we moved out of there. You know how when you paint one thing, it makes all of the other things not look so great? This desk has been on my to-do list for years. Once I put everything back in place, the desk just felt super dark. I decided to paint it and get it done in time for this video. And as you can see, it's pretty dusty. Because of the pinched nerve, I have pretty much been in my house for the last 10 days. As an introvert, that's not such a bad thing, but it's given me time to think and maybe God wanted to get my attention with this situation. I know my issues are not as extreme as the people you see on the hoarding shows. I could turn to time spent with family and friends instead of going to home goods or the thrift store. I'm gonna try and make different choices and we'll see how it goes in the weeks to come. I'm just gonna show you what I did in the last 10 days. I did it at slow motion speed because that's all I could do. So let's let's get into it. I love you madly. I love you madly. I'm madly in love with you. From the moment me so many great tips on decluttering in the last video. I'd love to hear your advice if you're an introvert on how to push out of your comfort zone. Every day in the comments, I am told how blessed I am to have such a wonderful family. And you are absolutely right. This is our family. This is how we roll. <laughs> every morning and 10 minutes after work every day and it is supposed to help. I do help with bone, bone density. <laughs> you want to share um, the an link. Amazon affiliate link perhaps? Yes, I will. It's actually... Okay. It feels so good when you do a squat. Hey, I'm a husband. <laughs> sweat. <laughs> it's making me sweat. Whoa. Have you been on it? No. Are you curious? Yeah. This exercise is... <laughs> okay. Have you been on it? Yes, I come over here like every morning and stand on it. And I go for my daily run. <laughs> it's my it's my exercise of the day. <laughs> it, you're blurry. Uh, Ellie, <laughs> what are you doing, Ellie? Working out. <laughs> She's on a run. And I have been waiting for this to be delivered. Because this rug, to me, just didn't go with the whole situation anymore. And so this is the rug. I haven't seen it yet. So hopefully I'll like it. It's really hard to tell when you're ordering off the internet. I did try going to Home Goods, but all they had was tan and beige. And I'm going to keep this rug, but layer it. Because I, want, I wanted a runner to go all the way to the edge. Look, I'll put the link. It's from Wayfair. It was like 169 free shipping. Part of the thing that I have to do from the pinch nerve in my neck is I have this device and I have to lay on the floor and put my neck in it because it's like the opposite direction of how my neck usually goes. I'm going to lay on this big fluffy rug. What I have to do is lay on the floor, get this thing right here and you, you, you can adjust it. He said that for every 
for all the hours I spent forward, I should be like this as well to counterbalance the pinched nerve situation. What I usually do is I lay, I lay on this thing like this, and then I put my phone on the tripod and I watch YouTube videos while I'm laying here and I can't do anything else. I'm spending a lot of time with my friend right here, this this thing. You don't want this to happen to you. Be very careful. Make sure if you're if you're on the computer a lot, put it up high so that you're not looking down. And don't spend a lot of time looking down at your phone either. It is not it's not good. You don't you don't want it to happen. You really don't. Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on. To find DIY paint in your area or to sell it in your store or for all the products used in this video or to get tickets to our big party in September, click the link below. Thanks for watching. So let's come together, celebrate each other, stand united as one. We lift our hands up and pray. What are you doing, Dan? We're gonna make a wood top for a metal table. <laughs> Shelving unit there. Is Levi helping you? Yeah, he's my little helper. All right. He inspires.